Hi, my name is Francesco Ferrari and today I'm going to talk to you about belief networks. Belief networks, also known as Bayesian networks, are directed acyclic graphs, also known as DAG, used to represent the relationship between random variables. Each node of the graph is a random variable and each edge represents the conditional dependency between two nodes. Alongside the DAG, we have the conditional probability tables. The conditional probability tables give the, pr the probability of XI given its parents. Building a belief network is fairly straightforward given a subset of um, random variables. We start by selecting a node XI and we select the smallest possible subset of nodes on which XI depends on. These nodes will be the parents of XI. Uh, we then draw the nodes in the graph and the edges from the parents of XI to XI and we calculate the CPT for XI, which is simply the probability of XI giving its parents. We keep uh, doing this step until we have no random variable left in the list. Um, I believe networks offer several advantages. They are clear and concise in the way they represent the relationships between um, random variables and also they offer a clear distinction between qualitative and quantitative data. So for example, in this belief network, it is really clear, uh, we can clearly see the alarm depends on these two other random variables, earthquake and boundary. And the, the random variable that tells us whether our neighbor, John, will call or not, is only dependent, conditionally dependent, to the alarm variable. Sometimes though, belief networks can get very complex and large, and it might be hard to determine um, if two random variables are conditionally independent. So let's start with an example. Let's start, um, let's look at this uh, probability, the joint distribution of Xi given a set of um, evidence nodes that we will call E. This relation is equal to this, the probability of X given E times the probability of Y given E, if and only if X and Y are de-separated through E. So, what's the separation? Um, a path is de-separated if there is at least one node in the path, a node Z, which meets one of the three following criteria. Criteria number one, also known as casual chain or casuality. This tells us that it's a, if a set of nodes um, X have outgoing edges to the evidence set E and the evidence set E has outgoing edges to Y, then X and Y will be disseparated. This is fairly straightforward because if y depends on e, the knowledge of x won't give us any additional information when predicting y given e. The second criteria it's called the common cause. This tells us that x and y will be deseparated if there are outgoing edges from the set of evidence nodes e towards x and y. Finally, the last the last condition is the common effect. This tells us that X and Y will be disseparated if both have outgoing edges to our nodes that is not part of the evidence set. And also all the children of this node are not part of the evidence set E. If that's true, X and Y will be disseparated. Deseparation and belief networks are uh, used for a lot of tasks in statistical learning especially when it comes to work with uh, Markov chains or hidden Markov models. Thank you very much for listening and my name is Francesco Ferrari.